channel the lunch box today's recipe is chicken pot pie chicken pot pie is basically a meat pie that has a crusty and flaky pastry on the top and bottom and the center filling consists of chicken lots of vegetables and any seasonings you love this dish is a great option for lunch or for dinner so let's go ahead and make some delicious chicken pot pie to make the chicken pot pie, we have divided the ingredients into two sections. The first section would be to make the filling. For the filling, I have taken one cup of boneless chicken meat. You can take a mix of thigh and breast or just thigh or just breast will be fine. One cup of half and half. If you prefer, you can use fresh whole cream. One cup of chicken broth quarter cup of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of butter unsalted and then one teaspoon each of nutmeg, thyme, one teaspoon of white pepper and a few bay leaves, quarter cup fresh corn, one teaspoon black pepper, quarter cup of chopped red onions, two tablespoons of salt, quarter cup cooked potatoes, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, quarter cup of fresh green peas, quarter cup fresh celery, two tablespoons chopped garlic, quarter cup of chopped carrots. The second set of ingredients is for the pastry wrap. We have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to use half a cup of ice cold water. I'm going to use two sticks of unsalted butter, but if you prefer using vegetable shortening or lard, then you can skip one stick of butter and use the shortening or the lard instead. But I'm going to use two sticks of butter instead of lard or shortening two teaspoons of salt and one egg. This egg we are actually going to use at the very end. Once we fill the pastry wrap with the filling, we're just going to use the egg for the egg wash. We are going to begin by making the pastry wrap. We take the two cups, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To this, we're going to add our two teaspoons of salt. Mix it. Once the salt is mixed into the flour, to this we're gonna add our two sticks of butter. Now we are gonna go ahead and use your hand or a fork, or you can even use a pastry cutter to kind of crush this butter into the flour until it forms a nice crumbly texture. So go ahead and just cut it. You can even use two knives however you prefer, whatever is convenient to you, and cut this butter into the flour. Once the butter has been cut into the flour, you will see that it forms a nice crumbly texture. To this, we're gonna add half a cup of ice cold water and mix it into a dough. You wanna make sure that you do not over mix this. You don't want the butter to completely dissolve into the flour. You want some chunks of butter to remain, which in turn will form a nice flaky texture for the pastry wrap. Mix the cold water with the flour until it starts to come together. 
in a few minutes the dough will all come together now since we're going to use this dough to make the top as well as the bottom section of the pastry wrap we want to divide this into two sections so just break it into two pieces once we have separated the dough into two pieces we are going to wrap it in a plastic wrap or a saran wrap and we are going to chill this dough for at least an hour before we roll it out into the pastry wrap. Go ahead and chill it for at least an hour. While our dough is chilling, we will go ahead and make the filling. Use a pan, turn on the heat to medium high. I'm going to add one tablespoon of our vegetable oil. Once the oil heats up, go ahead and add our chicken. One cup chicken. And season it with our black pepper. And some salt. And go ahead and cook the chicken until it's lightly golden brown. Once the oil heats up, go ahead and add our chicken. One cup chicken. And season it with our black pepper. And some salt. And go ahead and cook the chicken until it's lightly golden brown. Once the chicken is cooked, we're going to lower the flame and transfer the chicken into a separate bowl and we're going to reserve it on the side to be used later. After taking out the chicken from the pan, increase the flame back to medium high. Add a little bit more oil, just a tiny bit. And now we're going to add our onions to the pan. Go ahead and add your carrots, celery, your garlic, and some salt. Stir it and saute these vegetables until they are slightly soft. It will take about two minutes. Once you notice that the carrots and celery are soft, go ahead and add the one tablespoon of butter and the spices, the thyme, the nutmeg, white pepper and bay leaves. Give it a good stir and cook it for another minute. After a minute, we can go ahead and add our two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Give it a nice stir. Now make sure that the flour also cooks. You don't want a raw flavor in your pot pie. So cook it for another two minutes, two to three minutes. After three minutes, Go ahead and add the final ingredient of your filling, a half and half or a heavy cream, whichever you have decided to use. And now we are just going to cook this for another few minutes until the filling becomes thick. The consistency should be thick so when you pour it into the pie, it's not flowy. It should be pretty thick. It should take another two to three minutes max. In about three minutes, you will notice that our filling becomes pretty thick. This indicates that our filling is now ready. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the flame and we're gonna keep it aside to let the filling cool slightly before we put it into a pastry wrap. And simultaneously, we're gonna start working on our on rolling our pastry wrap. Just a quick reminder to take out your bay leaves from your filling before you pour it into your pastry pie. 
Now that we have finished with the filling, we will proceed on to roll out our pastry dough. This dough we had divided into two sections and it was chilling in the refrigerator for about an hour. So we're gonna proceed to start working on making our top and bottom cover for the pot pie. So we're gonna first slightly dust the surface with some flour to prevent the dough from sticking. And we're gonna work on one section at a time. So we're gonna unwrap the dough. And we're gonna use a rolling pin and slowly start flattening it out and rolling the dough. We want to roll it out into a thin sheet of about one eighth of an inch thickness or lower. The thinner, the better it will be to lay it down in the pastry uh, bowl. I've gone ahead and rolled the dough, the pastry sheet into about one eighth of an inch thickness. The thinner, the better. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and place it on the lower section of our pastry dish. Once we have lined up the bottom section of our dish, we're gonna go ahead and cut some holes or slits into the pastry wrap so that it doesn't puff up during the cooking process. And then we're going to go ahead and cut all the excess dough out from the sides. The excess dough that you cut out from the edges, you can always reserve it and use it for a different recipe. Now that we have finished working on the bottom section of the pastry, we will now go ahead and work on the top layer. So we're gonna keep this aside and start working on the second section. We're gonna do the same thing, dust the surface slightly with all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna unwrap it from our saran wrap. And we're going to roll this one out too, again, to about one eighth of an inch thickness or thinner. Once you have rolled out the second sheet too, we can proceed to filling the pastry dish with our filling that we had prepared. Go ahead and fill our pastry dish with the filling. You may notice that the filling has become much more thick from when it was ready. Once it cools down, it gets even more thick. Once the filling is in, go ahead and level it off. Once the filling has been leveled, we'll go ahead and place the top section of the pastry wrap on top of the dish. And we're gonna lightly press the edges so it seals. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut the excess edges from the side. Again, you can reserve this excess dough or pastry wrap for other recipes. Next, you can take a fork and kind of make like a nice pattern on the edges. And this also makes sure that the edges are really sealed. It looks pretty too. Once you have sealed the edges, go ahead and puncture some holes into the top of the pastry wrap to make sure that the pastry wrap doesn't puff up during the cooking process. And last but not the least, we're going to brush some egg wash onto the top of our pot pie to give it a nice golden brown color. Once you have applied the egg wash, the chicken pot pie is now ready to go into the oven 
we are going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 60 to 70 minutes. In goes the chicken pot pie in a preheating oven. We will check on it again in about an hour or so, 60 to 70 minutes. In about 10 minutes, once it cools down slightly, this delicious chicken pot pie can be cut into and served. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do try this recipe and let me know how you like this chicken pot pie. Like always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.